Sometimes they just come out of nowhere. I was getting the mail uh, today and I was expecting something, but then I had a second package. And whenever I have something sent to me by, uh, you know, any, anything having to do with shaving, it always says Sinatra Lennon on there. And so I got this today, the Rolison, Rolison? Uh, Rolison, I'll say Rolison, shaving razor, the first choice for everyone. Now it's made in India. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I've been in contact with the people that sent this to me. I looked through my emails and I couldn't find a mention of the Rolison brand. But, uh, you know, it's kind of like the, uh, the Pearl people. They're in India. Maybe, uh, maybe this company saw me. And I don't know. If I've missed your email, I apologize. But we're going to try your razor today. Here it is. The first choice for everyone. Premium quality razor made in India. They make good razors in India. You want to see what this one looks like? I bet you do. I bet you do. So <laughs> I'm going to use that one. I took a shower. did my hair. As you can tell, it's dangerously high. And so we're going to use this razor. I just looked at it. It's a butterfly razor. It's chrome. You'll see it in a minute. And instead of using feather blades, I'm going to use these Willis blades or willies, willies that are also made in India. They were sent to me by, I think Pearl sent me this and I didn't try them back then. Normally I like to use a feather blade with the razors that I'm not familiar with, but I'm throwing caution to the wind today, folks. We're just going to go for it. We're going to go with an Indian made razor blade and an Indian made razor. And we're gonna do that in a second. And so we're gonna lather, ooh, this, I need some hot water in my little basin down here. <laughs> Fill that up with hot water. And we're gonna be lathering today with the Ken Surf's signature brush from a few years ago. There's Ken's, check him out if you don't know about Ken Surf's, he's another great shaving channel. He's kind of like, uh, my shaving brother, my shaving uncle, uh, uh, and he loves pinball machines and he's really good. And James Bond and, 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 and traveling to Hawaii. And I wanted to mention before we go any further, my heart is breaking for the people of Lahaina and anyone that is being affected by any wildfires. I know they're widespread. We got them here in Texas too. But the fact that that little historic town on Maui is gone I, my family and I were just there last summer, like one year ago, and we loved that little place. And now it's just, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. So I'm thinking about just everything, you know, and it's it's tough. So I I, uh, I only hope the best for everyone there. It's just, uh, anyway, terrible, terrible. So anyway, okay, everybody, let's get back on track. So we're going to lather up. We're going to use the Ken Surfs. We're going to use Captain's Choice Eucalyptus. Why? I don't know. Ooh, smells good. It smells like a little bit of spearmint, a little bit of fresh, you know, greenery. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, but before that, you know what I'm gonna do? I said this in the last one. I think I used this the last one, the brew shaving gel from, was it brewgrooming.com? Um, I'm gonna put that on as a pre-shave after I put water up. And then afterwards, we're gonna use some Christmas Eve from Sterling. We're just using all kinds of different stuff from everywhere. I got two shout outs, including a couple of young men that watch with their dad. And, and then I got two products that Marco gave me, some German stuff. Well, one's German, I think, like East German. And the other one had to move to some other country. I can't remember. Anyway, so I took a shower, did my hair, as I said, put some hot water on my face. I've been pretty, uh, I wouldn't say lazy this week, but I think the last couple of days I just used the, uh, the electric razor. Maybe it was just yesterday. Yeah, day before I used the the other one, but so I'll be ready to shave is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Eucalyptus, Captain's Choice. Everything I've tried from Captain's Choice has been good. Everything I've tried from Sterling has been good. There's so many options out there that you can either delve into or not. Just find the one you like. And the beauty is if you're just now getting into this hobby, as you would call it, oh, it smells so good. It's like rich. It's very, it's got some definite mint, men menthol, but not crazy, but it's just a nice little hint. A hint of mint, if you like that. Um, the great thing is a lot of these uh, shaving companies will send out little samples. So you don't have to buy a $15 shaving soap and be like, I didn't like it. They'll send you these little tiny ones, you know. So anyway, we have a plethora of options when it comes to wet shaving these days. Okay, let's lather up, folks. Mmm. So, oh, God, I forgot to put on Start over. I said I was going to use that stuff, and I'm going to use it. Oh, it feels so bad. To... Ouch. Too hot. Rinse off that lovely lather, but I got plenty more. Where that came from, folks. Hold on. Woo. 
All right, there we go. All right, wet face, some of this brew grooming tea tree oil scent. How much are we gonna use? I don't know, how much, how much? Let's use that much. I can barely see it. There it is, it's still there. Smish it, smush it around, stick it up there because this stuff is so slick. Ooh, it smells so good. I love the smell of tea tree, what the heck? I, I was like 50 years old before I smelled this stuff. I don't know, like I'm a child of the 70s and 80s. You know, we didn't, we had one thing to choose from at all times. No matter what you're talking about, whether it's food or dinosaurs, you know, I swear back in, when I was a kid, there were only three dinosaurs. There was like a brontosaurus, triceratops, and a T-Rex. Stegosaurus. Brontosaurus isn't real. So we took that one away from us. But now there's a million of them. What's your favorite dinosaur? Dinosaur. What's your favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite dinosaur movie? Do you remember Dinosaur? I bet you don't. I bet you don't. I barely do. She dated uh, Burt Reynolds, of all people, back in the 70s. Crazy. Okay, there we go. Save the stuff around the bottom. Put it back on top. Frost that cupcake, baby. I don't know. I've never said that before <laughs> when it comes to doing that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this is going to be my T-shirt now. Frost that cupcake, baby. Sinatra Lennon. No, no, no. No, thank you. Okay, to the most important part, the razor. The Rollison. Let's take a look at it. Like I said, it's chrome. It's a butterfly razor. Look at this. The big reveal. Oh, look. It comes with a blade. Oh, God. Don't want it. It's a nice box. That thing's heavy. You could keep your uh, stuff in it. Here it is, folks, with a little golden tab. And it comes with one Gillette blade. I'm not going to use that today. I'll put that over here. And there you go. There's the Rollison butterfly. This reminds me a lot of the Parker 99R. Now that I take a look at it, let me see where it is. Yeah, here's the, oh, very, very, very much like it. Can you tell me which one's which? Which one's which, folks? Which one's the Parker, which one is the Rollison? Aha, can't tell, now you can tell. That thing gives away. This is the Rollison, here's the Parker 99R, so very, very similar, both butterfly. Um, similar lengths. This is a very aggressive razor, the Parker. So let's see how the Rollison is. Let's try it out. A mystery razor from overseas. Overseas. All right, like I said, this is a, like I said, I'm, I'm a dumb American. I'm fascinated by it. Oh, things are overseas. I'm not really that dumb. Folks. Okay, here it is. That's what it looks like. Feels heavy, feels solid, feels well built. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. You know, like if you get some of the cheaper ones at Walmart, they feel a bit flimsy. This one feels good. Let's get the Willis or Willie's blade out. No jokes, folks. I know what you're thinking. You're waiting for me to say something. I ain't gonna do it. There we go. Got the Willis blade. I haven't used these yet. I haven't used this razor. We're throwing caution to the wind, as I said. It is not adjustable, so what you see is what you get. There you go. It's very nice and shiny. The blade looks to be perfectly in there. Okay. All right. Well, nothing else to do but start. Right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So thank you to uh, the Rollison family, because it actually is a family-owned company um, over there in India. And I think in 2022, they decided to start selling razors from their website. I'll put the website link below. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Is it on here? Hold on. Uh, oh, gosh. They need to put it on their box, because it's not on here. It, if the Rollison folks are watching, you need to put your URL somewhere on the box, just in case. But I will uh, put the link down below. You can Google Rollison, R-O-L-A-S-O-N. Ooh, this thing is really kind of like one of those effortless razors. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel the blade. I'm not aware of the blade. And it's like sailing through nicely with no effort. And it's got a good weight to it and a good length. And this knurling is kind of nice. And I kind of like that little gap in the middle. It gives you something else to hang on to. They know how to make razors in India. I'll tell you what, this is, uh, this is like the fourth or fifth one I've tried. Now, from a different manufacturer this time. But uh, yeah, don't sleep on those Indian razors, man. Got a lot of great viewers and subscribers over there in India. So thank you all for being here. Okay, let's get to the shout-outs, shall we? So this, this first one was kind of funny. 
It's from uh, Bradley Jackson. Yes, yeah, the whole name, Bradley Jackson. He said he he spent one hundred and eighty eight dollars U.S. on six cans of Barbasol. Well, actually, these six cans of these, which are less than two dollars, so it should have been about twelve dollars. He spent one hundred and eighty eight dollars because I don't think he lives here in the states, Bradley. Unless and he just got a really bad deal. And he wants to thank Amazon for that. So thanks, Amazon, for making him spend $188. I hope that you're overseas because you can't get Barbasol overseas. They don't sell it. So you would just have to get it from a special supplier. Uh, yeah. So there you go, Bradley. And thanks, Amazon. Thanks a lot. Yeah, this is a good, solid, utility-type razor. You know, it's no frills. It's butterfly, which I love. I love three-piece razors too, but just the ease of use of a butterfly, not having to unscrew the head and, and you know do all that stuff. It's just, you know, just one less thing you gotta do, which is why I don't use shaving bowls. One less thing I have to worry about, store slash clean. I mean, I've got them down here. I got only a couple of them, like three of them. But I do wanna try one of those copper ones. I think I've seen some cool metal ones, like hand-hammered copper. So I hope everyone is uh, surviving their summer as we are here. Uh, yesterday, it was 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is that in Celsius? 47 or something crazy like that? I don't know, but it's been, it's been like that. It's been over 100 degrees, over triple digits for I think it's now 33 days in a row, which is a new record. We have never had heat like this on record. Now it may have happened before records, but as far as we've been keeping track for a little over a hundred years, which really isn't that much in the grand scheme of things, this is the hottest year on record for, uh, for Austin and boy, you know, after a while you just mentally check out from it. You just check out but I am starting to see little hints of uh, fall in the stores. I saw some pumpkin spice stuff being put on the shelf already in H-E-B. And I went to Lowe's yesterday to we got replace the, or fix the front door and they had the giant Halloween skeletons, you know, like the eight, 10 foot tall ones for sale. They had those up already. So little hints of relief are coming. And when you look at the forecast, for here, I know this is fascinating weather talk. That's what you tune in for, the fascinating weather talk. It's gonna be over 100 every day and like 104 to 108 until a week from Saturday. And then it'll be 99, so cold front. I'll be getting the sweaters out. You know, I forgot to uh, feel my face during that last one because I was just so into chatting with you guys, discussing the weather. Snoozerama. What is up with this? I catch glimpses of myself in the in the screen. I'm like, what is Oh the hair? Alright. Yeah, good. You know, here's the only problem. Here's the other thing. I'm sorry. I should have brought this up too. So they don't have the URL on the on the box. They should. And when I went to their website, they've got all these razors on there, but none of them you don't know what the price is. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I think maybe they're just in the early phases, perhaps? I don't know. Watch, I'm gonna go read an email that I forgot about from like six months ago that says, hey, could you test out our razor and don't tell anybody until we tell you? Oh God, I hope not. I hope that's not the case. If it is, well, don't tell them. Don't tell them I made this video. Oh boy, okay. This is always a good test for uh, good razors. The doing this way on my chin, like, cause this is, I had the most acne here when I was a kid. So it's kind of bumpy and weird, you know? The skin has just been through the ringer. There are huge swaths of my face that are just a pleasure, like all this right here, just so easy. And then you get around here and it just gets, you know, what am I doing? Oh yeah, up. Sometimes I forget. Should we do the other shout out? The only, the second shout out? I think we should. Second pass. 
Second shout out. I've got a little bit of a nick right there. I'm put my finger on it. So, this is for Jacob, and he lives in Denmark. Ah, you hear it coming? So, Jacob in Denmark watches uh, this channel, watches me shave with his two sons. That's right, and they're young men, so you're getting off to a good start. So, shout out to not only Jacob, but your two sons, Robin, who's nine years old. Shout out to you, Robin. And last but not least, we certainly can't forget Linus, who's about to be six years old. That's a great name, by the way, Linus. Robin and Linus are both fantastic names. Jacob's good, too. Jacob's good. No, but so, shout out to you, Robin and Linus. Gonna be nine, gonna be six. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna be, my birthday's coming up, too, Linus. And so is uh, one of my older sons. And my sons aren't too far uh, away in age from, from Robin and Linus, so that's cool. You probably know more about my shaving videos than my own sons do. <laughs> they don't watch. <laughs> okay, so there's the second pass. Let's feel the face this time. Frost that cupcake, baby. All right. Ooh, nice and smooth. Still got all this, you know, typical. But otherwise, pretty good. I mean, there's still some whiskers here, so that's what we're gonna take care of with this final pass. So far, you know, I like it better than the Parker 99R. I don't know how much it costs. The Parker's $29, I think. So if I find out, I'll let you know, or maybe I'll just, I'll put the link, look, maybe they will have put it up by then. I think they're probably just getting started since it was 2022 that they started doing this from the little bit that I read on their website. Okay. Mm. Eucalyptus shaving soap, Captain's Choice. I do need to go ahead and break down and just get the 45th parallel shaving soap because you know how much I love the aftershave and I've never used the 45th parallel shaving soap. I need to try that, break down and buy some. Because I think I need a, an injection of some new soap in my life. What do you think? Probably not. I've got this huge thing back here. Speaking of new soaps in my life, I actually did get one the other day. So, like I said, I, I, I ran into fellow YouTube wet shaver Marco when I was walking to work. And then we set it up so that uh, we did a, a, a materials exchange. Very secret, all hush-hush. The, the password was Ken Surfs. Then we knew that <laughs> we knew it was okay. Um, so I gave him a couple of razors. I think I mentioned this last time. And I also mentioned that he gave me a couple of products. One was from, I believe, Eastern, uh, 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 or East Germany. Uh, and then one that used to be in Germany, like in the 50s. Both of these are like old from what he told me. I need to do some research before I do a video on them. Um, he said the other one was like a classic scent in Germany. And then they changed the scent. And But this company out of, where are they out of? Poland, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like maybe Poland. No, I don't know. Anyway, so they, they kept making the original scent because people loved it, you know? So he said, let me show you first. Let me finish this up. So here's the shaving cream. It's Florina Men Comfort Razier Cream. Now, I can't speak German, so I, if this was French, I could pronounce it for you. Entspannt und fleckt. Gosh, dang, I'm bad. So anyway, this is the uh, shaving cream. Now, I've smelled this because he said it was okay. Ooh, it's just a nice, clean, soapy scent. Do you guys recognize it? Over there in Germany? Anyway, he brought me this. And then he brought me this aftershave, which he said, don't open it and don't smell it till you're on camera. And I still haven't done that, and I'm not going to do it now. But this is the stuff he gave me. Ralone, Ralon, Ralon, Raylan. <laughs> Original. So he said, I don't know why. I don't know if it's going to stink to high heaven. Or what? But he said, I want to see your reaction to its scent uh, on camera. So I'm still waiting. I haven't even cracked the seal. So I'm looking forward to that. So thank you, Marco. Check out his channel. Go to the last, uh, last video I did, and I have a link to his YouTube channel. It's all in German, so, you know, brush up on your language skills, folks. I haven't checked his channel since we met, so I don't know if he's used the razor yet. Marco, did you use my razors I gave you yet? I gave him a little uh, vintage Gillette travel razor that I've had forever. From the 60s, I think. I did an early video with that thing years ago. And it's just been kind of, you know, bopping around in my 
dot kits. So I was like, ah, you, somebody else should have this. So cheers to Marco. Thank you for giving me these cool products. I can't wait to try them. I might try the uh, shaving cream before the aftershave, just so I can do that, you know, in private. I gotta have my privacy, folks. I gotta, hold on, I gotta, there we go. I hate those notifications that pop up when you're trying to film a, you know, when you're trying to film your shaving videos and those notifications pop up about back to school. Don't you hate that? Is my comedy too specific? Maybe so. As we always used to say, the right people will get it. Okay. Let's wash down. See if I got to do the problem areas. Yeah, got to do the problem areas. Always this angle. Figure out what your angles are. Ooh, wipe that. Make sure you get uh, all the shaving cream out of your ear and out from behind your ear. Gentlemen. Oh man, I really, my skin is really red around my chin where I haven't been shaving. You can tell I let it, if I let it go too long, it gets, see that redness? You see that? Yeah. That's why I can't have a beard anymore. My skin has changed so much that it just gets red and irritated with even the smallest amount of stubble. So, oh boy, the human body, right? It's incredible. It's fantastic. It's amazing. And it's terrible. And it's fragile. And it's, it lets you down. And, oh boy. Well, try to take care of it as best you can. I certainly don't. I wish I should more. I get a lot of exercise. Drink a lot of water. I need to eat more vegetables. Okay. Onion rings don't count as vegetables, right? Okay. Here we go. Just one little bit right here. I cannot let that stand. I will not let this aggression stand, man. Just a little touch up. And that tiny little nick, I think, has stopped. Yeah, it's pretty much stopped. So pretty much, I'd say... No nicks. That was a mulligan. That was a gimme. So really, no nicks. It's not aggressive, but it did a great job. And uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's I don't know how much it costs. I don't know. I mean, it's Rollison, so there'll be a link below. Uh, they have a lot of other razors. Some of them colored, like little colored handles that look kind of pretty. But this is their chrome one. And I appreciate you sending it to me I, just out of nowhere. I was like, wait a second. I looked through my emails and I couldn't find a mention. So if I missed it, please email me again and I'll, uh, I'll make it right. And I'll tell everybody more about it. But that's it for now. Um, yeah, so Captain's Choice is great. Oh, got to put on some Christmas Eve. Hold on, folks. Don't get ahead of yourself, Sinatra. I don't call myself Sinatra, by the way. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, there we go. Okay, folks, Christmas Eve, it's Christmas Eve, my son, my youngest son, he gets on these kicks where he gets into like something super hardcore, like he'll, he'll be into ducks for like three or four months, learn everything about ducks, and then he'll move over to, I don't know, whatever the next thing is, roller skating, and then it's snowboarding, you know, it's, and now it's Christmas, he's really, really like pining for Christmas, pining for Christmas, he really... Mm, can't wait till Christmas rolls around. I think because he thinks he's getting like something really nice. Oh, ow, for Christmas. So he's just, he actually was listening to Christmas music the other day. It's August 9th or 10th. It's August, folks. But I can't blame him. I'm excited about fall. I'm excited about, I've been watching the, uh, I'm so glad. And I mean, I'm heartbroken also uh, that Montpelier, Vermont, my place I've never been that I want to go, uh, has been, you know, was, was flooded between fires and floods and everything else. My gosh. So I hope that everyone there is, 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 is starting to rebuild and can get back to some semblance of normalcy. I'm glad that the, the dam did not, uh, get overtopped and flood even worse than it could have been. So I'm glad of that, but man, the temperature's up there right now. That's my, that's my happy place. When it's 109 degrees outside, I look at the little thing on my phone, Montpelier, 72. 72 and sunny. Low of 54. <laughs> so anyway. Anyway, that's it, folks. Thanks to the, fo to the folks over at Rollison who sent this to me. There it is. And, uh, they, you know, the, this thing was fine. It wasn't bad at all. The Willis Razor from India. Or Willies, whatever. Wet Willies. That's what it should be called. 
wet shaving willies. And we got the Ken Surf's brush upside down and all this stuff. Oh, you know what I use. You don't need to hear me talk anymore. So that's it, folks. Thoughts and, and prayers and hopes and everyone in Maui and everyone that's still dealing with all that. I just don't know what my heart is broken. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, I love every, each and every one of you. I love, I know and love every single one of you. Anyway, leave a message, leave a comment. I read every single one of them, even if I can't respond to them all. And that's it for today. So have a great weekend. Stay cool. And I'll see you all very soon.